Argentina is a place that offers adventure and extremes. From the mountainous valleys to lush green vineyards and snow glazed glaciers, Argentina offers lively cities and tranquil wildernesses, majestic waterfalls and soaring mountains. Its diverse landscape makes it the perfect destination for tourists. Argentina is a nation rich in culture and exquisite in beauty. This lively capital city is the best place to begin exploring, and if you're not sure where to go in Argentina, here's our list of the top 5 places that shouldn't be missed. Starting with number 1 on our list is Iguazu Falls. The spectacular Iguazu Falls are located on Argentina's border with Brazil, with Iguazu National Park on the Argentine side and Iguazu National Park on the Brazilian side. These massive waterfalls, which are a UNESCO World Heritage Site, are without a doubt one of the most spectacular sites in South America. Thanks to a network of easily accessible walkways and viewing platforms designed to provide the best possible views, including some at the bottom of the falls, known as the Devil's Throat, you can get quite close to these thundering falls. In fact, Iguazu is made up of between 150 and 300 individual falls along its nearly 3-kilometer edge, a number that varies depending on the season, ranging in height from 60 to 82 meters, and each as spectacular as the next. You can easily visit it from the international airport in Argentina, especially if flying from Buenos Aires. Perito Moreno Glacier The small town of El Calafate, the main hub for tourists visiting the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Patagonia's Los Glaciares National Park, offers plenty of accommodation options and other amenities for visitors. You can join excursions to see the park's popular glaciers, most notably the stunning Perito Moreno Glacier, a massive 30-kilometer-long ice formation and the world's third-largest freshwater reserve, just 78 kilometers from the town center. It's only a two-hour drive from El Calafate to the glacier's large visitor center, and from there it's just a short walk to the glacier. Ice trekking tours range from an hour's walk over the ice formation to longer, five-hour excursions for those who want to climb the glacier. Another notable feature of Los Glaciares National Park is the 3,359-meter-tall Monte Fitzroy, a breathtakingly beautiful mountain straddling the border with Chile that is said to be more difficult to climb than Everest. So don't try to climb this one. Recoleta, La Boca, and Tango in Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires is one of South America's most beautiful cities and also one of its largest. Buenos Aires is often the first glimpse of Argentina that most visitors have before heading off to popular tourist destinations such as Patagonia. But if you want to enjoy your time efficiently, then you must stay for some time and visit the many delightful museums and art galleries housed in the magnificent old colonial buildings that dot the city's districts, or barrios. Visit La Boca, Buenos Aires' most colorful neighborhood and home to the quirky Caminito Street Museum, a magnificent pedestrian zone and open-air museum known for its brightly painted houses, amusing sculptures, cafes, music, and street tango dancers. Fashionable Recoleta is another must-see, with its elaborate mausoleums containing the remains of famous Argentinians such as Eva Perón, as well as numerous public gardens, museums, art galleries, cafes, and boutique shops. Ushuaia Patagonia, located at Argentina's southernmost tip, is famous for its spectacular landscapes, which include a dramatic mix of the Andes and long stretches of plains and plateaus. The majority of adventures begin in Ushuaia, the world's southernmost city. The San Juan de Salvamento Lighthouse, also known as the End of the World Lighthouse, was built in 1884 on the Isla de los Estados and is a popular tourist attraction, as is the End of the World Museum. Exhibits about the region's natural history, aboriginal life, and early penal colonies can be found here. The Ushuaia Maritime Museum, housed in the town's notorious former military prison, is worth a visit for its many maritime artifacts and scale models of famous ships such as Darwin's Beagle. The Beagle Channel, named after Darwin's ship, cuts through the heart of the national park, and you can board a boat in Ushuaia to cruise through this historic waterway. Mendoza Unquestionably one of Argentina's most beautiful cities, Mendoza is popular with outdoor enthusiasts in winter as well as in summer. When the snow falls, skiers from all over South America flock to the popular resorts of Las Lies, renowned for its steep terrain, and Las Penitentes, located just 25 kilometers from the Chilean border. In the summer, these same areas are popular with hikers and climbers, many of whom are attempting to reach the summit of the 6,960-meter tall Aconcagua mountain. Whitewater rafting and trail riding are two other outdoor activities, with some riding stables offering overnight adventures with camping under the stars. Mendoza, 
which is also known for its olive oil production, has a number of museums and annual festivals, as well as a bustling central market where you can find food stalls and restaurants. Last but not least, Argentina's diverse geography includes harsh deserts, humid jungles, long ocean beaches, and the soaring Andes. It has many places to visit in both summer and winter. However, if you want to avoid the tourist crowds and peak season prices, then you should consider Argentina's springtime, October to mid-December, and autumn, April to mid-June, to be the best times to visit. That concludes today's video about Argentina and its best places to visit. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Also, if you're new to the channel and haven't yet subscribed, do so and click the bell icon to ensure you don't miss any new videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next. Until then, Cheers guys!